You know, whether you're celebrating Valentine's Day this year, Galentine's Day, maybe you get to celebrate both. That's just a wonderful opportunity. This year, now more than ever, we need to feel the love, show the love, and be around those that we love the most. And so I think creating special moments, um, Galentine's Day in the past has probably been a dramatic brunch, but now we get to have more intimate shared moments, maybe in someone's home with our trusted crew. And you know, chocolate croissants, chocolate strawberries, some rosé, prosecco, special wine, Waters, like strawberry, strawberry basil. I think those are the opportunities that we have to create something really special with our friends, to really enjoy our girlfriends. This year is definitely the year to take those special, smaller moments and just really um, kind of amplify them. Maybe it's a girls' movie night, Valentine's Day celebration. In fact, we have tips on the blog for some of our favorites where you can find them at kathyfielder.com. And just take this time to create special, intimate moments with those you love the most. You know, I tried really hard to come up with some creative ways to do something special for my significant other, my husband, Jeremy, um, during the pandemic and trying to think of just outside of the box ways to make Valentine's Day a bit more special. And so, you know, I thought maybe a really like little have a brunch day in is such a fantastic idea. Keep it kind of simple so it's not a lot of prep and not a lot of work for you and you can just enjoy your um, companions time um, maybe send the kids out to grandma's or whatever else and just take a couple hours to yourselves and kind of try to reconnect and realign and just have some special time you know, I think salads are a great way um, to make an easy brunch and they're, they, they look fantastic whenever you present them right. And it's something that you can add a protein to, you can get some great like texture in there. And so that was kind of my Valentine's Day lover's brunch idea. And so basically I just took different kinds of lettuce. You know, presentation, like I said, is everything on a salad. It really makes or breaks that dish. And so, you know, and then just of course the flavors that you add into it. I I used several kinds of lettuce. I used a baby arugula. I used a butter leaf to kind of decorate the corners. I used some kale just as a dark texture against that lighter lettuce. You know, and then for a, just a little bit of extra kind of texture to the salad, you can add some slivered almonds. Um, I right now am obsessed with um, rice cauliflower on my salads. It really does add just a, just this nutty texture and flavor that's simply fantastic. Um, a little Parmesan cheese is always good on any salad and gives it that little bit of a finish. Um, for this particular salad, because I know my husband will want a little bit more of um, texture and a little bit more weight to the salad, I'm adding a Perini Ranch beef tenderloin. And basically you just slice it up and arrange it really beautifully on your salad. And you can take those pieces and kind of just run them down the center of the salad and you can make a beautiful presentation out of that too. The other thing that I do and really enjoy doing is I actually make my own salad dressing. And so I use brine from olives, some darker olives. I simply pour that brine into the bowl and then it's pretty simple. I add some olive oil. I really don't have a recipe as far as I just kind of dash it in there. I know kind of the texture. I know the color that I want. Um, I usually add just for a little bit of extra flavor, a little bit of organic Italian dressing and just a little squirt of that and then simply whisk it with my spoon. And I'm able to just kind of take that dressing. It's light, it's airy. It has a wonderful flavor, especially with beef, um, chicken actually, almost anything that you want to throw it onto. And I'll pour that over the salad and it just finishes off just perfectly. So you wanna have your presentation done like I've kind of talked about and I've finished and sliced off some meat here and added some Parmesan cheese just on the top of it. You can actually, if you want, um, one of my favorite seasonings is Jake's Prime. I You can just do just a touch. It really is the perfect seasoning for any sort of meat, poultry, fish that you have. Um, and then what you're gonna wanna do is obviously you wanna have it presented really pretty, but then you also are gonna have to toss it in order to make it kind of a functional salad that you can really sit down and eat. But that's okay, you can have some fun with your significant other doing that. And so really, I just kind of take all of this, I have a bowl ready to go. I just slide it all into that bowl grab my dressing here and you really just obviously do dressing to taste just like you always would you could leave it off to the side if that's better for you and your family um, add a few tablespoons there and then you're ready 
So now I have this gorgeous tossed salad. You can add in the extra tenderloin if you want. You can put that on the side, whatever. I actually pulled out some vintage plates from my grandmother to kind of just make it even more special along with some sterling silver, some coupe glasses, a great bottle of Prosecco, and then you can just have a lovely time with your mate and enjoy the day of love. I think now more than ever, it's really important to make things special, to find the little things. You know, you've made a beautiful salad, which by the way, you could check out this recipe on the blog at kathyfielder.com. But we also want to remember that it's okay to get dressed up and be at home. And so whether you're gonna go kind of casual chic like my outfit, which is all white with pops of pink, or you're gonna get a little bit more dressed up, a little bit more just glamorous, that's okay. And it's kind of, for me, sometimes it feels a little strange to do that, but it does elevate the moment and make it more special. So so we wanted to share a couple of inspo ideas for you to make your Valentine's Day just perfect.